Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so we had this coolest conversation today about horsepower. You know, we were had our tractors next to each other and we were talking about this tractor has this much horsepower and this tractor has this much horsepower. But you know, there was a story came up that struck a chord, struck a major chord. And I think it is, it's going to strike a chord with you as well. So let me share it with you. It's, it's a draft horse. It's, it's a horse that can pull a load. It's a farm horse. It's a, a horse that before they had tractors, before they had trucks, before they had machinery, they had horses. And the horses would pull the plows, the horses would pull uh, the logs out of, out of the forest when they timbered. The horses would be the horsepower. One Belgian horse was known to have pulled, I mean, on average, they all pull about somewhere around up to 8,000 pounds. That's four tons. That's a lot of weight. One horse, and that horse, by the way, weighs about a ton. An average Belgian horse weighs about a ton and that's 2,000 pounds, and they can pull four times their weight. Now, that's some pretty powerful uh, strength for a horse. But this is not where it stops. You take two Belgium horses, and you put them together, and do they pull 16,000 pounds because each horse has the ability to pull 8,000 pounds each? So if you put two Belgium horses together, do they have the ability to pull six, 16,000 pounds? Eight times two, 8,000 times two is 16,000. No, 22,000 pounds. That doesn't make sense. If one Belgium horse has the ability to pull 8,000, then two should only be able to pull 16,000. But that's not true, they can pull 22,000 and, and, if those two Belgium horses are stalled together, they grow up together, they hang out together, they're fed together, they're constantly together, they have been known to have pulled up to over 50,000 pounds. Now, the point of this entire analogy is this. You know, we can only do so much alone. We can only do so much by ourselves. We can only do so much with our own abilities and our own talents, our own knowledge, our own wisdom, our own skill sets. But when we bond with one another, we team up, we pair up. You know, didn't the Bible say, didn't Jesus say, go out when he was given everyone the great commission, telling everyone what we need to do when he's gone. Go out into all the world, right? He said to do that. Go out into all the world and preach the gospel. Great demand, but what does this have to do with what I'm saying? He said, go out two by two. In other words, don't go alone. Pair up with someone. Go out with someone else to share that message. That's what Jesus said. Now, Jesus knew that when we bond our efforts together, that we're more than twice as effective. Remember that when you deny that opportunity to bond and pair up with a team member to accomplish more for yourself, your family, your future, your legacy. Think about that, how that not only can you benefit yourself, but you can also benefit someone else and you can even benefit someone else while you're benefiting yourself even more than you can by yourself. God bless you. I hope this means something to you. I hope it stands out. Hope it touches a chord. Hope it makes sense. And you, you are the child of God and you are a gift from God. Isn't that amazing that Jesus said, go out two by two. Don't go alone go with someone else team up, pair up, the power of multiplication. God bless you.